Hi everyone, Melanie Cameron here with the Cameron team, Coldwell Banker, Seacoast Advantage in Wilmington, North Carolina. Yesterday, I had the privilege of attending a local economic outlook um, talk. It was uh, put on by the Women's Council of Realtors and the guest speaker was Dr. Musin Kutabi. I hope I'm pronouncing that right. He is a regional economist and an associate professor of economy at UNCW. He's a PhD, super, super smart guy, very entertaining, and just had some really good information. So I thought I would share with you some of the takeaways um, that we learned um, from Dr. Kudabi. Um, one thing, uh, the main takeaways that we heard was that Wilmington, this area in general, still has a very strong um, labor market. There are signs of a slowdown in the labor market, um, but it still remains relatively um, strong in comparison to the nation. Um, technology and real estate have slowed down, which we have definitely seen that at least in the last six months, six, seven months since we've seen the interest rates um, creep up, and he confirmed that as well. He also mentioned that credit delinquencies, which is what was the big issue in our market in 2007 and 2008, remain very low. Um, they are inching up slightly, but we are nowhere near or anywhere close to the same type of market we saw in 2007 and 2008 where the market really collapsed. He said it's completely different dynamics um, this time than it was uh, back then. So that was really encouraging. I've been saying the same thing. So glad someone with a PhD confirmed it. He also mentioned that excessive savings remain elevated. A lot of people uh, saved a lot of money during the pandemic because they really weren't out eating and shopping and spending money like they probably usually did because they were kind of staying closer to home. Um, but he also noted at the tail end of that is that people's current savings rate has also declined and become lower, uh, which will translate into spending adjustments in the future as we move forward. Because if you're not saving as much money, you're going to eventually have to curb your spending to adjust accordingly. He also mentioned the local level of employment is holding up. Uh, but there are, uh, but they, he does suspect a small market reset. Again, not like what we saw in 2007 and 2008, but that the market will adjust a, a little bit. Housing prices, he says, have started to come down, um, but definitely remain significantly elevated um, when compared to pre pre pandemic pricing. Um, remember, you have to remember, we have seen over the last uh, 21 and 22 uh, appreciation in the 20, 25%, in some cases, even more. And, and that obviously is not sustainable in the long term. So a slowdown in that is, is really inevitable. And that's, I think, where we're at right now. Uh, he also thought that the higher interest rates will affect the housing demand and supply. Um, and also the migration of people coming in and out of the area. Uh, you know, when people are thinking about trading their 2% interest rate uh, on their current mortgage, 2 or 3% with a 6 or 6.5 or 7%, gives them a little more pause about uh, coming in or making, making a move. People are still doing it. The rate of it has just slowed down a little bit. So those were the main takeaways from Dr. Kutabi's um, talk yesterday. He also shared some interesting facts that I thought were pretty cool that I wanted to share with you too. He did say that the job market here locally is still very strong. In fact, more than 14,000 jobs have been added to the local market here since 2019. I thought that was a really, really strong number. Uh, he did too. Also, the population in North Carolina has increased by 259,559 people uh, between 2020 and 22. And 96% of that were from people that were migrating to the area, so new to the area. Uh, I thought that number was really high. I would have thought it would have been a little, little less than that, but 96% of the population increase was due to migration into North Carolina. He also mentioned that between New Hanover, Pender, and Brunswick County, those three counties accounted for 4% of the population of North Carolina in 2020. 
Um, now, more than 11.5% of the growth uh, between 2020 and 2022 is attributed to the population of North Carolina. So quite a big jump um, where we're taking up a pretty big piece of the pie now of the population in North Carolina. To break it down even further into the counties, um, the number of people that have moved into Brunswick County between 2020 and 2022 was 14,907. In Pender County, uh, they saw an increase in population of 5,095. And in New Hanover County, the number was 8,614. So I thought those were some really interesting facts to share. Dr. Gutabi also ended just sharing, sharing with us what he thought we could uh, look forward to moving forward. He thought that the feds would continue to uh, make their attempts of quailing inflation. So that will continue, I think, through 2023. He also noted that consumers' balance sheets continue to deteriorate, a.k.a. their savings. Um, people are saving less and still kind of spending at the same rate a little more. Uh, so as that trend continues, uh, it will eventually lead to people making adjustments to their spending. And I, I think that will definitely be the case. Um, he also said and closed with, and I was glad to hear this one, that this slowdown based on the current evidence that he's looking at will be relatively shallow and relatively short. Um, I've been hoping for that. It was really nice to he hear someone with a PhD behind their name say that. So overall, I think um, this area is faring pretty well and will continue to fare well. Uh, I thought it was great information to share, so I wanted to pass it along to you. If you have any questions or comments, please reach out anytime. You can call or text me at 910-233-2840. Have a great day, everyone.